Um, once again, we got most reviews right here. So this is four gigabytes um, split into two DIMMs. It's good to have two DIMMs or four DIMMs because they can work in parallel. Actually, the more DIMMs you have, the better, but uh, you always want to leave your motherboard able to upgrade. So this is perfect right here. You could put in four gigs, and if you need mo four more gigs later, you can put four more gigs in later. And I paid $100 for mine when I bought them and this is 60 right now. The prices constantly go down. So th so this would be a really good buy right here. Um actually, whoa. Oh, this is only 2 gigs, but look at that. Price after rebate $22. That is if you of course you get the rebate. Um that takes work and sometimes you don't get it anyway, but uh yeah, I'd say there's a 50/50 chance that you'll ever get your a uh, mail-in rebate. It's about that range. That's everywhere you go. Okay, so that's the memory. The next step you want to do is you want to look at, uh, where is it? Video cards. Video cards is the next part. Um, once again, very much like the difference between AMD and um, uh, Intel, um, ATI Radeon cards are not as powerful as GeForce cards, but they tend to be better bang for the buck. There are some really nice GeForce cards, but here's one of the things. This is where it gets confusing. When you start looking at the video cards, it gets quite a bit more confusing, so what you want to do is you open up a new tab and go to a website that a lot of people who build computers know about, and that is Tom's Hardware Guide. This is another plug for another website. So, desktop VGA charts. Do, 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 do. This might be 20 minutes long, but I think it's pretty important. Um, oops, no, graphics cards. See, sometimes it gives you the wrong quarter. You want the latest quarter they have. Uh, gaming graphic charts, quarter 3, 2008. When they come out with quarter 4, you would look at that one. Okay, so one thing I usually recommend when you're looking at these benchmarks is to find to see the largest division, like the the biggest difference between a medium video card and a good video uh, and a great video card is you look at the ratings that you would get as the sum of all the benchmarks of all the different games at the highest rating instead of all of them completely. So this is the one I would check the sum of FPS benchmarks, 1920 by whatever AA. Okay, so as it shows here, now here's the thing that I was confused on for a long time. Right here we've got SLI, we've got down here CF, another SLI, CF, we got 4CF, um, uh, there's a couple other ones. There's some, there's like a 2SLI and stuff like that, or sorry, 3SLI. All of those mean that it's actually multiple cards. So when it says SLI, it's actually two of these cards connected in hub. Now as you can see right here, we've got the GTX SLI, which gets a 605 rating, and then we've got just the GTX 280, and the only difference is this is one card, and this is two cards that are hooked together. I thought it was totally different, but this right here is the same card as this one, but this is two of them. And as you can see, the increase in frames per second is like nothing. It's practically nothing. So unless you're like trying to like record well I don't know if you're trying to I guess publish videos at the same time as you're playing a game or something like that maybe you'd get some use out of having uh, the Crossfire or SLI uh, two video cards essentially um, but I would strongly recommend if you're gonna start out make, make sure if you want try to make sure that your motherboard can handle Crossfire but only buy one video card to start out with. So some of the ones that I would recommend, um, because they're pretty good prices uh, for how much power they are, is the NVIDIA GeForce GTX. That one's kind of expensive. That's like the $400, oh, $375 range. Uh, then we come down here. This right here, as I was saying, is a pretty good bang for the buck. Uh, this is almost as powerful. I actually calculated it out. It's 48%, uh, sorry, 84% as powerful, and uh, it's like $200 or something like that. And then finally, um, right down here is another good card. This is the NVIDIA GeForce uh, 9800 GTX. Make sure it's the right megabytes, because megabytes are pretty important. You might see one of these, and you might see one that's a 256 megabyte. So make sure you're not buying the wrong one based on the megabytes. Um, and then this would be another good deal. Stuff like that. So try to look through the ones that aren't CLI or CF. So that's what we would do there, and so once you get there, you can go into desktop graphics, video cards. Let's say we wanted the 280X. Uh, we would click on more, and we'd go into, uh, where is it, GeForce FX series? Is that what it is? Yes. No. Me? No. <laughs> where is it? Where is it? Uh, 
Oh, GTX 200, right there. Okay, so then we want the 280. And uh, sometimes you'll have to click on the actual button to see what it is. See, it's, this is the um, one, wait, yeah, one gigabyte version, which right here we have the that's one gigabyte. That's the same thing as one gigabyte. So you get there, and then you can click on this and see the price in the chart, and it's um, three ninety after mail and rebate, which is it's expensive, but that's like one of the best cards you can get. Um, yeah, it would be pretty ridiculous on how powerful it is. Okay, so that is that. And then the couple last things that I would recommend. Um, so that's the video card. Um, next, oh, next is the hard drive. Now, there's some stuff that people don't know about hard drives, uh, internal hard drives. This will probably be 20 minutes, but it's important stuff. Um, uh, I recommend doing a power search when you're doing hard drives. Um, and I recommend uh, on the manufacturer Hitachi, Seagate, or Western Digital. Um, maybe Fujitsu, but none of the other ones. No. Um, Hitachi and Seagate have the least amount of moving parts. Um, they, ha I think Hitachi has like um, an order of two moving parts. Uh, Seagate has an order of three moving parts. And Western Digital has either four or five. And all the other ones are much higher than that. So the fewer moving parts, the less the the less likely it's going to malfunction by some way. So um, I prefer, well, Western Digital's proven that they've been doing pretty good. Um, okay, so here's uh, one important thing. We have the IDE Ultras and the SATA 3.0s. These are basically the only ones you're going to pick. You're basically going to pick this or you're going to pick that. If you have an old motherboard, which I'm not sure if it shows, it, um, you can kind of check it out. If you have like an, a motherboard that's like a few years old, um, you might, it's, well, let me, actually I should show. Let's see. Because this is an important thing. You don't want to buy the wrong, mother, I mean the wrong uh, hard drive for your motherboard. Okay, so let's say we click on this one. Let's just say, specifications. Okay, um, two, 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 two. Does it say it? 